see, I'm from the um, sector myself, I'm a landlord myself, and what I see is that we're actually beginning to play uh, a more and more important role uh, yeah. in the housing sector. Uh, in fact, we're now housing more tenants, um, social tenants, than um, the social housing are. So we surely should be seen, uh, in some cases, to be the answer to the problem yeah. and not the problem. Yeah. So how can we encourage new landlords into the sector? Yeah. Um, because again, all we hear about is London when we talk about rent controls. A lot of these things, I think, are almost like there's this different country, London, with peculiar problems attached yeah. to it. The rest of the uh, UK have entirely different um, housing needs. Um, there's lots of uh, accommodation where I feel landlords could improve it. Um, how can we, or how can politicians actually encourage landlords into some of those sectors to improve buildings? Um, and do you actually believe it's important that they are? Yeah, so of course London does have a particular dynamic, especially with a lot of money coming in from overseas to buy housing and pushing up prices. Um, and, but everybody needs housing you know, across the country. Um, and the private rented sector is, a, is fairly vibrant at the moment. Um, we've got to make sure that it works well. A good structure, a good framework within which the private rented sector can operate is very important. That's why I was interested in the idea of a, uh, a regulatory structure. But we've got to make sure that works uh, if we're going to have one and, um, and if we're going to make changes. So that's something that I'm interested in thinking about.